Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Air Better Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of March general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Libra, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, immediately the message that I heard is some of you guys may find out some information from an unlikely source. I feel like you may be scrolling on um, a person that love interests' phone or I'm even getting a child's phone because you did have a page of pentacles. So this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn child. Um, somebody's tablet. I'm seeing a device, a, 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 you know, a device where you can get some type of internet coverage or something like that. And you may be scrolling on something and not even intentionally looking for it. But I feel like you may find something out just by doing some scrolling, like something I'm seeing pop-ups, like you're clearing some type of pop-ups. There could be a lot of tabs open. And as you're closing tabs, you may see something again, you may be using, I'm, I'm feeling like you're using somebody else's device, like somebody's laptop, a tablet, cell phone, something like that. And you were probably trying to look something up and then you end up finding out something else instead. I'm definitely getting that energy very strong. In your pre-show, we get strong fire and also earth. So Leo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Summer, Rise, and Venus individuals could apply to this situation. It could, get, it could be other signs, but I'm just telling you the ones that I got in your overlying energy. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. Mm. And I'm taste, I have this weird taste in my mouth. So it's like something that you find out is going to leave a nasty taste in your mouth. Like in other words, you're not going to like it. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, we're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of this deck as well. And as always, you guys know there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have some type of enlightenment is coming. And I did say earth, right? I said fire and earth. You have major arcana, the Hierophant, which resonates with Taurus. So you can be involved with a Taurus individual or something can come to light in Taurus season. Taurus season starts in April, okay? which is not too long from now. Um, something is coming to the light. You see how this enlightenment is coming from behind him? You could be married to this individual, engaged to this person, or have been in a long-term traditional relationship. Because the hair font definitely talks about traditionalism, um, structure. Right up under here, you have two of pentacles. Some of you guys may find out this person is juggling. And it may cause some turmoil in this relationship, okay? Because clearly, you guys know my quotations ship relationship and it's being struck by lightning some of you guys are finding out something about possibly a earth sign i really feel like some of you all have found out this person is juggling okay doesn't have to be the case but i see and then look as i'm holding look what's showing seven of cups seven of cups is illusion confusion feeling scattered and also somebody keeping their options open so to have the card of a juggler okay and then the seven of cups somebody who keeps their options open i feel like you guys are getting ready to find out something that you didn't even try to Again, I did say in the beginning, I seen a page of pentacles. So it could be an earth sign child. If you were on their device or something like that, you could be seeing some type of pictures or something. I'm also seeing like a child may have taken a picture and bust their parent out, uh, uh, your partner. They may have taken a picture of something. And, and if you're like me, you're an investigator and you're like, okay, whose purse is this? And you're zooming and blowing up pictures and things like that, trying to see what all is, what all elements is in this picture. Somebody about to be exposed. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that right now. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Six of Wands, um, success, attainment, fulfillment, achievement, but also requiring the attention from the village. You know, I'm getting that as well. So we're going to go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the Justice card. And we will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll get clarifiers for both. Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups is not typically a third-party situation card. This could be entertaining having guests over, having drinks, celebrations. But if you notice, all of these women have masks on, which means something is hidden about the situation. So this could be definitely a third party situation. Ten of Wands carrying a heavy load, heavy burden. Some of you, and then even behind him, there's one, two, three of those animals. So yeah, you may find this to be a very heavy situation to digest. And that's why I told you I, I heard, oh yeah, it's interesting. My mouth said this could leave a nasty taste in your mouth. And these are cups, like, you know, if you drink something, whatever it is that you ingest, this information that you ingest, this take in, is going to leave a nasty taste in your mouth. 
Because I feel like somebody is finding something out, not even intentionally, because again, they have those masks on. So it's, it's interesting they have masks on, but they're right in your face. It's not even like they're trying to hide. So something could be happening right up under your nose or did already because you do have three of cups and we are in the third month and this is Piscean energy as well. So some of you guys could have found something out during Pisces season, right? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, it would be the justice card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and we'll get clarifiers. Some of you guys, are, a child may be saying something and they don't even know they busting your person out. I'm just, I keep getting pictures like a photo that you may see, okay? And we're halfway through the deck, more than halfway through the deck and we don't have your card. So this may be a, something that has gone on for a while. We stop right here at the Wheel of Fortune. This is something faded and destined for you to find out. You or your person could have been born in the year of the rabbit, the year of the lion, or the year of the monkey, or there could be some monkey business going on here, okay? Again, we are looking for the justice card. Let's see, okay? I can't, you guys don't watch what I'm doing. I'm not changing anything. Look at this. There's some deception. Here's your card, and then right in front of it, the seven of swords. Liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver, some type of deception. Right behind it, the four of pentacles, woo and then the moon. Oh my. So to get the moon and the seven of swords so close off, I'm telling you, somebody, something is being, something's coming to the surface. You see how this crab is surfacing? Something's coming to the surface. I feel like, again, it could have came to the surface already in Pisces season because the moon is Pisces. Or it could be involved in a cancer individual. Mm -mm. Definitely could be involved in water, okay? So you got the seven of swords, lying to you to manipulate a sneak conniver. And then the four of pentacles is typically somebody holding on for dear life or holding back and omitting, omitting something. If you look at his face... There's definitely some type of deception here. You have two cards of deception. Look at that energy. And they almost look like the same person. I see his little bald head. I see his little bald head too. Somebody's being deceptive. Your person may be bald or balding. <laughs> I just heard you look bald head bastard. Like somebody gonna cut somebody out, okay? Um, or, okay, I'm also hearing you you a bald face lie, bald head lie. That's what I'm hearing that also. Somebody's being exposed. Because if you notice here with the pentacles, they are floating out of this um, chest, which means something is coming to the surface. It definitely could be involved in a Taurus because you do have this Four of Pentacles, so it could be an April Taurus. Whatever the case, I'm telling you, something is coming to the surface. Something is coming to the surface. Wow. And I just want you to see right up under it something that you didn't see before. And this is your energy because you are, you know, swords. Something that you didn't see before. The bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Wands. You could be married or engaged this person. You have two fours. So four plus four is eight. Eight sideways. I'm just hearing this eight sideways infinity symbol. So some of you guys could have definitely felt like this person would be your end all be all. Okay. Because four of wands is a marriage and long term commitment card. Again, you could already be married or engaged to this individual. Or there could be, you know, you guys could be planning some type of engagement party because you do have people partying with them, celebrating with them. I just feel like somebody's finding out that something was all a lie. Let's part the deck. Yeah. You guys are watching me just part this randomly. Okay? Three of swords. Yeah. Mm -mm. This wouldn't be happily ever after. Not no damn three of swords there. Somebody, you found out somebody lied. There's some type of deception. Somebody could have a three-year-old also. This person could be try trying to deny whatever you find out. Okay? Because you got the seven of wands guarding this defensiveness. Now you have two sevens. Okay, so 7 plus 7 is um, 14. Of that 14, 1 plus, five is, 1 plus 4 is 5. So 5 in numerology is about changes, often very challenging changes. So whatever you find out can be very challenging and it can cause some conflict in this relationship. Especially if you're married, somebody could be thinking about divorce. Ooh, somebody could be thinking about divorce. The Three of Pentacles of right is about establishing things, building together, coming together, unions, contracts. Okay, this could be people going like literally because it looks like they're in a church going to get um, going to elope, going to get married because this person could be presiding over a ceremony in reverse. Something is not working. And then the three of pentacles, you already have the three of cups. There's definitely a third party for some of you guys that you're going to be finding out about. Bottom of the deck. Yep. You have the world card. Okay. Upright one cycle ending. So another cycle can begin. It's like for some of y'all, this may be a situation that you have dealt with in the past before. 
could be dealing with a Taurus again. We got strong Taurus in this reading and Leo. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Um, somebody is up to their old tricks is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Somebody's up to their old tricks. Let's see what's up under here. Nine of Swords in reverse. A lot of you all are no longer in your head about the situation. I feel like for some of you all, you're going to make an ultimate decision about what to do moving forward with this person. And then for others, it's like you have so much history with this individual, you may not want to walk away. Let's get a clarify for Seven of Swords for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, yeah. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person may be sneaking around giving that wand to other people, okay? I always tell you guys, if you look at the tip of it, it literally looks like a penis head. It does. And you see how he's handed it in this direction? I feel like literally this person is being deceptive. And I feel like a lot of y'all are going to find out. I don't wish this, right? But I'm telling you, somebody's finding out that this person may just be out here sharing that. Somebody's entertaining other people sexually, possibly. Because, you know, I could say something positive. But if you look at it, you have it right next to one of the most deceptive cards in the whole entire deck. And I don't like giving heavy readings or challenging readings. So that's not my goal. But I'm telling you right now, something is there's some type of deceit here. And I definitely feel like it has to do around intimacy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is fast-moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. I feel like you're going to... I said this earlier. I feel like you're going to find this out even though you weren't intending to. I don't feel like any of you were looking for it. You may just find it. I'm, I really feel like somebody is going to be given something because I'm hearing like pass the baton. Like, you know, when people have relay races and they're baton is passed to them the baton and look at that it's like somebody's giving you some information that you may not have expected again fire sign energy if your person is a fire sign it could be a fire sign person giving you this information also this could be a time frame airy season which is at the end of march and it looks like the universe because that hand is coming out of the sky the universe is giving you this information i just heard do do with it what you will so they're telling you really apply your free will when it comes to the situation, but something's coming at you quickly. Let's get a clarify. It could be done with August Leo because we did have strong Leo in the pre-shuffle, in the pre-shuffle, and then you had the Eight of Wands, and Wands was Leo Sag Aries again, and that flipped up very quick. Yeah. <laughs> so you got the Four of Pentacles, and then you have the Three of Pentacles, and as you see, this is your main card, and this is so somebody's black backsliding. I'm going to tell you again, somebody, if you have dealt with someone in the past and they were a cheater and they've been on a straight and narrow and they've been cool, I feel like this person may have backslided and now they're doing the same shit that they were doing before, okay? Because I can't deny it. Look at his face. There's some type of deception here, okay? And then with the Three of Pentacles, you know, it's working and building together, establishing something. And again, you had you had seven, you had the Seven of Swords, right? And then you, you had the seven of wands also. Three plus four is seven. So some of you guys can be finding something out within the next seven days. I really feel like some type of receipts, some type of text messages, some type of emails. Something can come through in somebody's facts. Like if your person works from home or there's some type of information, some type of transaction. Somebody can get a fax and you catch it before this person. Because if you look at his face, look at his face. He does not look like he's happy. Something is, is not sitting well with someone. And it's like the universe wanted you to get this because I want you to really see this. These are your clarifiers. It's like the universe is giving you this information, showing you this. And I, I really don't feel like you were meant to get it. Because if you look around that hand, you see how it has like that, electric, that electricity, like a caution type of energy. It's like caution. This information that you are getting ready to get may not make you very happy. And again, I'm going to say, with these two energies together, I really feel like there's some type of third-party information that you're getting ready to find out about. I don't feel like you were trying to find this out. I feel like the universe, this was the universe preparing you, protecting you from something. I feel like you're being protected by the universe, and they give you some information. Something is definitely coming to the surface. Again, for some of you all, this has already come to the surface because half of the craft's body is already out the water. And this may have happened in Pisces season. Okay. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.